Well, you guys got another video here for you on a hidden Windows tool that you probably didn't know about. And this one can be useful for troubleshooting issues that you might be having with applications or services. So this is a perform a clean boot. So what is a clean boot? A clean boot starts Windows with minimal set of drivers and startup programs so that you can determine whether a background program is interfering with the game or program that you're trying to run. This is very similar to starting Windows in safe mode, but provides you more control over the services and programs that run at startup to help you isolate the cause of the problem. Now, if the issue prevents you from booting into Windows, you won't be able to follow the steps that I'm showing you here in this particular video. So what you need to do here is you need to come down to the start button and open the search box and type MS config, just like so. Once you see system configuration, click on this one here, and this will open up the system configuration box. So you can see here we have five tabs. One says general, boot, services, startup, and tools. So on the general tab, you'll see that we're on a normal startup, which loads all device drivers and services. So that's where we're set at the moment. On the boot tab here, you've got your boot options. And then on here, we do have our services. This is where the clean boot is going to be performed. So first off, what we're going to do here is hide all Microsoft services. So this will hide all of the Microsoft services here, and it will just leave these services right here. Now we're going to want to disable all of these services. So click on disable all and it will disable these services here. You may well have quite a few services here that are running on your system. This is on a virtual machine. But once we disable all of these and restart our system, this will take us in what we call a clean boot environment. And we can then uh, troubleshoot our issue that we might be having with our PC. So let's click on disable all and these are now disabled. From here, what we're going to do is go to the Startup tab next and open up the Task Manager from here. This is going to allow us to go into the Startup tab to basically disable programs that are starting up. And we want to disable all of these. Now, there used to be a setting where you can disable all with just one click, but we have to go through these one at a time and disable them all uh, and then restart our system into a clean boot environment. And once we're in a clean boot environment, we can then determine what is causing the problem because we've disabled all these services and startup programs. So highlight the ones that are enabled and disable them. So just like so, we're going to hit disable and disable again until you've disabled all of these. Now, it's important that you disable these because these will be starting up and these could be the ones that are causing the problem. So we've already done the services and now we're doing the startup programs. So let me do one more here. And there we go. They're all disabled. Now, once that's done, what we can do is we can close this box off here. Click OK. And restart our system. So let's go ahead and restart. And our system will start and we'll be in a clean boot state. And then we can uh, determine what is causing the problem and troubleshoot it and then fix that issue. And there we are, we're at the desktop and we're in a clean boot state here. So we should have very minimal uh, services running and very minimal uh, startup apps running. So now we're in a clean boot state here. So how do you determine what is causing the problem? Well, if the problem does not occur once we've restarted the system, we know that the problem was one of those services or applications that we've disabled because we're in a clean boot environment. And this is important. So what you want to do is to determine what is causing the problem is you need to enable some of these in blocks so we can then restart the system again. It does take a bit of time, but you should then be able to weed out what is causing the problem. So let me go ahead and show you that. So for that, what we need to do is go back into MS config. So we're going to go MS config like so and open up the system configuration. And you can see here now inside the general area, we're in the selective startup mode right here. So from the actual services area, so you want to go back to hide my, all Microsoft services and you can see the check marks are already out. Now, if you've got a long list 
of services and applications, what you can do, you're supposed to do one at a time, but if you've got, say, 30 odd boxes unchecked here, doing one at a time and restarting the system will take quite a bit of time. So what you can do is do these in blocks of, say, four or five at a time, restart the system, and then see if the problem comes back. If it does, you know it's one of those five objects that you've checkmarked. But because we've only got four here, I'm going to do this in blocks of two just to show you exactly what I mean by this. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck these and just check two, restart the system. And then once we've done all of these, we can then go on to the startup tab and do the same there. So let's go ahead and just check mark two of these and apply this and OK and restart the system and see if the problem comes back. And then we can move on to the startup area. Now, when it comes to startup and opening up task manager here in the startup apps, you would do the same here. If you've got a lot of startup apps starting, you would enable two or three of these at a time or maybe four or five of these at a time, restart the system. And obviously, once you restart the system, if the problem comes back, you know it's one of those uh, five items that you've just enabled and you can then troubleshoot between those five. So do it in blocks rather than one at a time. So now we've got this all done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click apply and okay and restart again. Now remember when we restart the system, we're still gonna be in a clean boot state. We're just enabling a couple of programs at a time to troubleshoot. And again, now we're back at the desktop, we're still in clean boot mode. And what you wanna do is see if the problem has been resolved. If it hasn't, what you'll need to do is go back into uh, MS config like so and what you want to do is open up the system configuration you can see we're still in selective startup and to continue uh, using clean boot what you would do is go back into services hide all microsoft services and then keep enabling uh, five of these at a time and apply this on ok until you find the problem once that's done uh, you can then revert back to normal uh, boot mode uh, so to do that what you can do is uncheck all of the microsoft services here and this will put you back into normal mode. Click OK here. And of course, you would want to enable some of your startup applications. Uh, once you've troubleshooted all of these, you can then enable which ones you want to enable, or you can leave them disabled if you want to leave them disabled. But if it's things like your antivirus program, you'll definitely want that starting up. And you can see now, once we've done this, we're back in normal startup mode here, and we can restart the system. Now on this reboot here, we'll be going back into normal startup mode. So clean boot will be removed and we'll be back into normal mode here. We can do that by quickly checking here, going to start, type in MS config again. And once we've done this, we can open up the system configuration tool. And from here, you can see that we're already back into normal startup mode. And that's exactly what we want. All your services should be enabled and all of your start apps, the ones you've enabled again, should be running again on startup. Anyway, that's how you can do a clean boot on your system and use the hidden windows tool that you probably didn't know about to troubleshoot and fix a lot of windows problems. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy this sort of content, then give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment. It always helps with the YouTube algorithm. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.